Let's try something a little new and different this week, shall we? Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and you're watching Dash Detailed. This week saw two Dash mentions in mainstream publications. First was at VentureBeat, where the startup accelerator Hacker Unit placed an article describing their various blockchain-oriented startup companies, among them CryptoBuyer. CryptoBuyer is a Venezuela-based exchange which sells Bitcoin and Dash. Second was an interview in Forbes, where Node40 founder and member of the Dash Core team, Perry Wooden, told interviewer Peter J. Riley that he believes that Bitcoin's price is likely in a bubble. And what's more, that he believes that if any cryptocurrency is to succeed, his bet is on Dash. Moving on to network updates. Today's masternode count is 4,212. And in addition to that, exactly 500 full nodes are reachable, which are not masternodes, which brings the total network's full node count to 4,712. Today's hash rate is clocking in at 1.61 terahashes per second, down slightly from a recent all-time high of 1.78 terahashes per second. And the Dash to US dollar price is vacillating between $10 and $10.30, making today's total market cap between $70 and $73 million, with just under 7 million coins in existence. And finally, there are 14 proposals up for vote by Dash's masternodes. At this time, eight of them have passed the threshold to be funded, while six have not. And as the payout is in 13 days, there are roughly 12 days left to get votes in. Next in social happenings, Redditor Hillsent recently posted on r pay that he has shifted his holdings of formerly 100% Bitcoin to 75% Bitcoin and 25% Dash. What's more, Hillsent called himself out as a former Bitcoin maximalist and said that in his estimation, there are likely other maximalists coming round to Dash or at least being willing to look at it. The post received much love and rejoicing, as you can imagine. Secondly, longtime community member Tao, or Tao of Satoshi, has launched a campaign to target people specifically affected by the various wars on cash around the world. He's done so by rebranding his YouTube channel as Cash Alternative TV and correspondingly changing his Twitter handle to Cash Alternative. Next in business integrations. The decentralized online marketplace OpenBazaar has just added the shapeshift button, affectionately dubbed the shifty button, to its marketplace. This means that any digital token supported by shapeshift, Dash included of course, is now more easily spendable on the store. Now of course, all tokens spent through the Shapeshift button are converted to Bitcoin by Shapeshift, so there's no telling how high the transaction fees or processing times will be for Bitcoin, but it does make it a little easier to spend Dash nonetheless. And secondly, the crypto news outlet Bitcoinist.com is set to add a new price feed to the top of their menu, and the three unlikely, or perhaps likely, candidates set to take those spots are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and yes, Dash. Next are development updates. Lead developer of Dash Evolution, Andy Freer, chimed in with this. We're basically moving from prototyping to final alpha development starting in January. This got delayed as some of us are helping on 12.1, integrations, dash.org, etc. But currently preparing the project plans slash specifications for the final bits. So next month, we will have all of the designs finalized and know exactly what the alpha features are and so can answer questions better. We've already built a lot of it, but January is really when we start to produce the final version and should be able to have a steady stream of updates slash things to show leading from there. 
Second update comes from core team member CoinGun, who kindly shared with me just what it was that took the Dash.org website offline the weekend of December 11th. CoinGun reports that it was actually a double whammy situation, in that first, an ICANN verification email was being sent to an email address that was no longer regularly checked. That stopped DNS services for a time, but even when the verification email was found and responded to, it was then discovered that the VPS provider hosting Dash.org had not been paid recently. All told, the website finally got back online on Monday, December 12th, and CoinGun candidly admits that it was all rather embarrassing and that lessons have indeed been learned. And finally, in current opportunities, the Treasury proposal Dash Force is in full swing. This means that should you come across any article or video which mentions Dash, which has not been posted about yet, you can get tipped for finding it. In addition, people can also get tipped for leaving comments on said articles and videos. So to find out what's been submitted recently and what the current bounties available are, just visit the Dashforce underscore tips channel in the Dash Nation Slack. That's it for Dash Detailed this week. We would like to give a special thanks to longtime community member Bertlebet, as well as the members of the Salt Lake City Dash Meetup, who all contributed their time and input to today's show format. Feel free to send story tips, comments, or suggestions to amanda at dash.org, and I hope to see you next Wednesday. Did you know that Dash is the first decentralized autonomous organization? True story. Check out how we operate in this short and breezy video.